Hey guys, Icon here from Voclio Music. In this video, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at Doubler 2's pitch band feature, and more specifically, the IntelliBend response mode. This mode gives you full control over bending notes and even chords while performing with pitch band in Doubler 2. Using pitch band to come up with melodies and bass lines is definitely much more fun than drawing them in with automation envelopes, and you'll definitely come up with some ideas that you wouldn't normally come up with while playing keys, for example. Let's dive right in and look at some of the key aspects of pitch bend in Doubler 2. You can choose between the two pitch bend response modes in the Assign tab. True bend is our older pitch bend algorithm that is very sensitive to any pitch change in your voice, so it follows it exactly. The negative side of this is that pitches from outside your chosen scale will come through more, so it can sound dissonant or off sometimes. Intellibend is the new response mode we introduced with Doubler 2 and it is less sensitive. In this mode, the software understands when you're trying to bend the note and bends through the scale without really letting wrong notes or tones come through. We're going to mainly focus on this mode. Pitch bend range is key because for Doubler 2's pitch bend to work properly, the pitch bend in your synth needs to match the range in Doubler 2. We really like leaving this at plus or minus 12 so that you can sing all of the notes in the scale that you're working in with pitch bend. Going back to the play tab, you can also adjust your pitch bend range here, but one other key parameter is stickiness. When using pitch bend, stickiness acts like a sensitivity control. With a high stickiness, it becomes harder and slower to bend between notes. But with a lower stickiness, the bends occur faster. Make sure to take the time to find a good stickiness setting before starting to record with pitch bend. Let's head over to our DAW and record some sub bass using pitch bend. We have some drums and piano chords as a backing track. For the bass, we'll use an Ableton preset called Bass Valley. You can see that the PB range is set to 12 as it is in Doubler. Our piano chords are in the scale of G minor, so we'll make sure Doubler 2 is set to the same scale. <laughs> After you record the automation, you can edit the recorded pitch bend envelope. Something fun to do with bending bass parts are to map effects parameters to vowels in Doubler 2. We'll do this with Ableton's Digraph Persona Bass preset. We've mapped the wavetable position and sync parameters to the A ah and U vowels in Doubler 2. Now when we emphasize these vowels, these effects will be modulated in real time. Combining this with pitch bend and other effects like a filter can help you come up with some crazy sounds. Pitch bend also works great with leads or melodic parts. We'll give it a try with this Glide Synth Lead 2 preset. <laughs> Thank you. 
could also use this kind of melody singing with modeled instruments like violins or guitar samples to add bends to notes. One last technique we wanted to demonstrate is chord bending. This was also introduced in Doubler 2 alongside the chords tab. Just as a reminder, you can use the chords tab to assign chords to notes in the scale you're using. We've assigned minor 7th and major 7th chords to some of the notes to add variation. You can activate and deactivate chords bend in the assign tabs pitch bend section. We hope you enjoyed that video and if you have any questions about pitch band, be sure to leave it in the comment section and we'll get right back to you. We'd love to see how musicians in our community are using pitch band in their productions, so if you have any videos, be sure to send them through via our social channels. For more information about Doubler 2, head to voclia.com and subscribe for more videos. See you next time.